What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to talk about one of the big things that I always see asked online and that's about freight shipping. I've only shipped one thing freight and that was in transmission to my Mercedes parts car, which happened to get returned for a whole different reason. So I have that back in my house right now. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did to do it. It wasn't really a big deal at all. So now that I have other big items, I think it'll be easy to ship things freight. And it wasn't that expensive either. So it was kind of perfect. So I'm gonna show you what I did for it right now. So what I did was I took a pallet and cut it in half because the transmission's pretty skinny. So I got the pallet underneath, I just cut it in half. And then I put plywood for a base right here on top, screwed that down nice and tight. So that way the weight of the transmission wouldn't break the, the pallet. So as you can see on all four sides, there is this wood that's holding it up right there. I put this board and that board tight against the transmission. And then I put these sides um, angled in. You can see how I angled that in to keep the transmission from rocking. I also threw a screw through one of the mounting bolts down here so it wouldn't rock at all. I mean, that's the main part that holds it on. It's not gonna go anywhere like that. I mean, it's, it's in there really strong. So that right there holds everything on. So the other thing I did was I put these on top to enclose it. If this were to roll over, the transmission would stay right on the crate. It wouldn't fall out of anything. Since the transmission slopes up, I put this one tight against the housing. So this transmission really has no way to move whatsoever. And then the last thing I did was I put this board and that board up. So I made a, a box out of it. And all that plywood right there is all four sides in the top. So as you can see, it's not really that hard. A couple two by sixes and two by fours. And if you make a box around it, then it is easily built onto a pallet where there's no way that it can move, fall off or get damaged. I hope you guys are getting a good look at how I did it. Um, you can see all the screws, everything's holding it all together. There's no way for this to, to move anywhere, go anywhere. So that's what it looks like without it enclosed. I'm gonna go ahead and close this back up into a box to show you exactly what it looks like when it's done. All I had to do was get one sheet of plywood, I cut it up into what I needed, and then I built a box around it. That way there's nothing that can enter into this crate and damage it and nothing can fall out of that crate and damage something else. Um, really simple, really easy. Um, it looks pretty good too. So you can load it into a truck or a trailer and then they can just forklift it right off at the shipping place, which is what they did for me. So it was all pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and box this up so you guys can see exactly what it looks like afterwards. So you can see that it's all boxed up now. It's not perfect, you know, there's a little gap right here, but that's nothing you really need to worry about. All you gotta do is make sure that it's all enclosed and everything is good. You know, you could, you could sit on this box and you're not gonna damage the transmission. If this box rolls over, it's not gonna come apart. It's not gonna be, um, be a hazard to anybody. So, Inside there is a transmission that you would never know. No one's gonna try to steal it or you know do anything weird with it on the way to getting shipped. So that's what I did for this part. It actually worked out really nice when I shipped it out. Like I said, the guy returned it because he 
was trying to fix the car and was just throwing parts at it. So this was not the fix for him. That's a whole different story. If you want me to go into it, I will, but I wasn't planning on it. Um, so I'm going to relist this on eBay now, and then hopefully I will sell it pretty soon. The dimensions for this are two feet wide, two feet high, and then four feet long. So when I originally sold this transmission, I shipped it to Illinois. It was to a business and I dropped it off at the freight um, company because I'm not a business address here, so it would cost more money. But since I have a trailer, I put it on the trailer and brought it to the freight company. It was only $109 to ship to Illinois, which I thought was a bargain. If it was going to a residential address, it would have been more money because they'd have to send a truck with a lift gate. So when you look at it like that, if you have a big item that you can sell and you can charge them for the shipping, um, it's really not that big of a deal. I actually charged the guy $200 for freight shipping and it only came out to $109, so I made money off of that. I have doors from the Mercedes that I think I might list pretty soon and that I will do freight shipping that I will box up on a crate, make it all nice, and then I'll be able to ship them out. I have no way of weighing this, so I told the freight company it weighed 300 pounds. It's probably a little bit more than what it does weigh. I can just barely lift it up. When you're doing truck freighting, it doesn't really matter how much the weight, they're looking at the size of the pallet that it's on. Obviously, they just need to know if it is something too heavy that people can't lift. So I have this listed for 300 pounds. As you can see, freight shipping is not really that big of a deal. I'm hoping to have some more coming up. I'm not quite sure because I have a lot of other things to sell anyway, so the freight shipping stuff kind of gets pushed off to the side, but I should do it because I need to do it. It's just money that's sitting at my house. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or comments about what I did here, just let me know. I'm hoping that I went slow enough and that I showed you guys enough that you guys can copy what I did in case you have some things you're trying to ship out that you're putting off. If you have anything specific you want to ask me or any comments, let me know and I will get back to you. If not, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.